Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to FTP to your WordPress on Google Cloud Platform. I'm creating two videos for this, one for Mac and one for PC. This video is for Mac and the PC one is on another video. Let's start by going to Compute Engine and open our WordPress VM instance. I'm going to quickly load my WordPress website just to show you that it works. I'm going to copy my IP address and paste it on another tab. Now, the first thing we need to do is create SSH keys. We're going to create two keys, one public and one private. We'll upload the public key to Google Cloud Platform, and we'll use that private key to load on FileZilla so we can create that secure connection. So open Terminal on your Mac. Let's execute this one line command, ssh-keygen, then specify the type of SSH key by putting dash T space RSA. Now specify the folder where you want to store the SSH key. We're going to store it on our home folder and a hidden folder called .ssh. Then specify the file name that you want it to be. In my case, it's WP01. And then now put option dash capital C to specify the username. This can be any username that you wanted it to. And then that's it. Hit enter. And the next thing we'll ask is create a passphrase. So enter one. It won't show up as you type, but just type it and then confirm it. That's it. It's pretty simple. It's just a one line code. Now we need to upload our public key. To view our public key, we need to open this folder. So I'm going to copy this. And then on the command line, type in cat space and then paste the folder. You don't need the dot on the end. So delete that and then press enter. We need to copy this whole thing. This is our whole public key. So starting from SSH all the way to our username. Now that we've copied that, let's paste it on our VM instance. So let's go back to our VM instance. And since we're already there, click edit. Scroll all the way down and look for SSH keys right over here and now what we need to do is click on show and edit and then in this box we need to paste the public key that we copied you can see that the username showed up over there and scroll all the way down and click save there you go we've uploaded our public key to our VM instance now we need to go to FileZilla and load our private key so we can connect between the two. While we're here, let's copy the IP address and then load FileZilla. From here, you want to go to the top left and click on Site Manager. Create a new site, name it to whatever you want. And then on the right side for a protocol, you want SFTP. And then the host is the IP address that we just copied. And then for login type, we want to use key file. And then for user, it's the username that we created, which in this case, stuffbox01. And then let's locate the key file. So click browse. Let's look for the file that's on our home folder. And since it's a .ssh folder, it's actually in a hidden folder. So press shift command period, and this will show you all your hidden files and folders. We can open our folder and we have our two keys here, which is our public and our private key. We only want the private key on this case. So select that. Now FileZilla would want to convert this, which is fine. And then enter the passphrase. Since it's converting it, it will create a separate file. I'm going to name this like this and then click save. And that is it. Now click OK. And then save passwords. And then click OK again. Now we're ready to connect. Click on Site Manager again. And click the Connect button. It will give you this warning. It just wants to make sure that you want to connect to this IP address. Confirm that we are connecting to the right IP address. Then click OK. Now we'll ask you for the passphrase. Enter that passphrase. And then click OK. 
and we are now connected to our WordPress on Google Cloud Platform. If you were also able to connect successfully, please help me out and click the thumbs up button. Now to view your WordPress files, click on this topmost folder, double click that, and then double click this one also. And then now I'll show you a bunch of folders. You wanna scroll all the way down and look for var, double click that, and then double click www, and then double click HTML, and there it is. Here are your WordPress files and folders. Now let's say we wanna upload a theme on our WordPress. So double click WP content, then double click themes folder. And this is the folder we're gonna to use to upload our new themes. And now we can drag the theme that we wanna upload. Drag it over here. And we should get an error message because we don't actually have permission to write to our folders yet. So to modify the permission, we need to go back to our Google Cloud Platform and then scroll all the way up and then click SSH. I just wanna see what folder I'm in. So I type in ls-al. As you can see, I'm not on my root directory. So type in cd space forward slash. And then if you view our folders again, type in ls-al. We are looking for the var folder and this is where we'll change the permission. So type in cd space var slash www slash html. If for some reason the location of this folder has changed, which could happen if Google decides to update it, you can always use the ls-al command to view the contents of that folder and navigate through there to find the HTML folder. And since we wanna see what's in WP content folder, I'm gonna change my directory to that. We can see the theme folder now. If you wanna see the permission of the theme folder, type in this command. Right now, it has the uh, permission of 755, which means the username that we created doesn't have permission to write on the file. And to change that, we want to enter this command. Then now, if we go back to our FileZilla, I'm just going to refresh this. And then drag this folder. It should now allow us to copy the theme. Now the next thing you want to do once you finish copying is actually put it back to 755. To do that, type in sudo space chmod 755 and then the folder name. It is very important that you change the permission back to 755 as soon as you're done as a security precaution. I know it's inconvenient to keep changing it back, but by putting it back to 755, it prevents anyone from writing over your files. If you want to learn how to back up your Mac files to Google Cloud Platform, Here's my video on how to do that. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to this channel to see more videos on Google Cloud Platform.